a spiritual successor to the Sony Xperia XZ with a camera better than the XZS. This is the Sony Xperia XZ1. The XZ1 features Sony's well-known square design, but with improved materials. The body and sides are now cut from a single piece of metal, making the XZ1 feel more resistant against twisting and bending. It's also IP68 certified. We just wish the bezels were a little bit smaller. There's a headphone jack and a USB-C 3.1 port. Some versions also have a hybrid card slot that allows for two SIM cards or extra storage. But ours only has expandable storage. The 5.2-inch screen is a bright IPS LCD with good sunlight legibility and it quickly responds to changes in lighting. It allows for HDR viewing for both Amazon Video and Netflix, although it's not 4K like the Xperia XZ Premium. The Xperia XZ1 has a 2700 milliamp battery, which is a little bit smaller than last year's XZ, but we're expecting similar battery life with the optimized software and the new chipset's efficiency. The XZ1 has a stereo setup and the two speakers should sound a little bit more balanced. It's also supposed to be 50% louder than the Xperia XZ. The XZ1 also boasts powerful specs namely a Snapdragon 835 and 4GB of RAM, so we're expecting it to rock the benchmark tests. The phone features Android 8, aka Android Oreo, with Sony's overlay. There's no bloatware and whatever apps you dislike are easy to delete. One of Sony's most interesting inclusions is a 3D creator with which you scan objects or people. This creates a 3D version of them which you can spin around, use as a live wallpaper, or even print out on a 3D printer. The camera is one of the phone's most notable features. The respectable 19 megapixel camera is quite like the one on the Xperia XZS, with super slow motion capabilities, but with a few upgrades. It now has autofocus burst and it continues to focus on your subject while you keep the shutter pressed for burst. The Xperia XZ1 has 4K video with EIS, and of course it has its extremely slow motion at 960 frames per second, at 720p. The selfie camera has a 22mm wide-angle lens and allows for 4K shots. The phone will be available at the end of September, but not all markets will get the full range of colors that we have here. So the Xperia XZ1 is looking like a winner, but should you get it? Without in-depth testing, it's still a little too early to tell. Stay tuned for our full review. You can hit that subscribe button to be sure you won't miss it.